So we're going to take a look at how you can fetch data in React from an API. Now to do this, we're going to be using the random user API. The reason for that is it's free and it's open source and anyone can use it without having an API key. So I can just go to api.randomuser.me and it will return a random person. And we can see here's the JSON it gives back. We can get the results inside that there's one person that gives us the gender, name, location, and some other stuff. So we're going to learn how to fetch this and react and then display this data on a website. So let's move that to the side and the component I'm going to do this in, I made a new one called fetch random user and I'm displaying that right now. Now before I learned react, I always thought that you fetched your data and then you, uh, then you rendered stuff. So I thought when I was first learning react that you fetch the data in the render function and then render it and you don't render anything before you fetch your data. Um, but that is not the case with how this actually works. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to show some kind of loading indicator, and then we're going to fetch the data, and then when the data has come in, we update and we show um, the data that we get. So the best place to do this in is not to fetch your data in the render function, but in the component did mount. So what this means is our component has rendered at least once, um, when this is called, so we need to have some kind of loading that we do. So we need to know whether we fetched the data or we've completed the data. So in our state, we're going to have a, uh, a loading, and by default, it's going to be true. So what I can do here is I can conditionally show some data. So I can say this.state.loading, then I want to say div loading dot dot dot. And then if it's not loading, I want to show a person. And now we don't actually have the uh, data for the person yet, but you can see now when the f screen first renders, it's going to say loading. And now what we want to do is in our component did mount is to actually fetch the data. So here's the URL that we can use. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to say const URL. And now what I want to fetch is uh, using something called fetch. So I'm going to say const response is equal to fetch URL. So fetch is going to allow us to make the HTTP request to get the data over here. Now this is asynchronous. And whenever I'm using asynchronous code, I like to use async and await. And to be able to do that, you need to make the function asynchronous. So we can make this async by putting the async keyword there. And then I'm going to say await. So it's going to make this now synchronous. So it's going to wait for this async call to finish. And it's going to store the response here. Now the response, we can get the JSON data from it, or this stuff right here, by saying const dot, and I guess I can call this just data, is equal to await response dot JSON. So this is an asynchronous call that as well, and this gives, returns us the JSON data. And if I want to, I can just console log this data now. So we'll give that a save, and now if I come to my React app, when this mounts, uh, we can see in the loading there's now an object, and we can see we have object info, um, but more importantly, here's our results. So results is an array, and we get that first user. So I could say data.results and get that first user, and I want to store that in my state. So I'm going to say person, and by default the person is null, and now I'm going to say this.state is equal to update the person, we're going to say results zero, um, and we're going to say uh, grab the first person, oh sorry, we're going to do data.results and get the first one. And then we have all this data on the user and we can render that however we want now. Um, so let's go ahead and finish, uh, remove that console log. And now if this code reruns, we now update the state with a person. So really the last thing now to do is to actually uh, render this person. Uh, if he exists. So the person may be null, right? Uh, there's no there's no indicator whether it's not. So we're going to say this.state.loading or this.state.person um, is null. So we can say not. So if the person is not there, then we want to just say loading. Uh, otherwise, we have a person. So what we can say here is uh, display some of the data for it. So let's have another div here. And I can say this.state.person, and then I can look at any of the data I want to select over here. So maybe I want to grab the name and display the first name, last name. So I can say first, first name, and let's do better at spelling. Uh, and oh, I guess it's name.first. There we go. And let's just see if that displays. 
um, and we get loading forever. Uh, I, let's see, is my condition wrong here? So this.state.loading and this.state.person. So here's what we did wrong is we forgot to set loading to false up here. So loading is false. So when we get a person, we want to set the loading to false. And now we can see Amanda. Um, let's get that last name as well. And if we want, we can get the title. So let's go ahead and get the title as well. And this is a random API. So you notice every time we load the page, we fetch different data. Uh, we can grab the image of this person as well if we wanted to. So let's do that. So I'm going to say image source and we need to make sure and close off the image. This.state.person. And let's see, is there a picture? Yeah, picture, let's do picture large. And come back over here, there we go. Picture.large. Um, and now we have a person of that user. So again, when the page first loads, we see dot 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 loading appears for a second, and then this person appears. Um, and so that's the second that this is all being run. So it renders first by saying loading and then componented mount gets called. We fetch the data, we get the data from the response and then we update the state. So it's gonna be rendering twice here, once for the initial loading and then a second time with the new person. And so that is one technique to ha be able to fetch data from an API and then render that data. So set up a loading screen of some sort. And then when that data comes in, instead of loading the loading screen, you load this. And again, I use this method of uh, conditionally rendering this. If we wanted to, um, I could do an if statement up here. So this.state.loading, or uh, we didn't get a user back. And maybe I wanted to do different conditions here, right? So maybe here I say dot, 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 loading. Um, and let's put it at the end. And then let's say maybe this dot state dot uh, person. So let's say we didn't get a person. So didn't get a person. Otherwise we come down here and we just render it. So this is another way to do it. And this is a perfectly good way as well. So now same thing occurs, but now we have some different conditions here. So now if we don't get a person, so for example, if we were to say, pretend this API returned null, give it a save. We now say loading and then we say didn't get a person uh, for whatever reason. So those are the different ways you can do that and that's fetching data from an API.